In this video, we're going to learn how to remove all the punctuation marks from a string in C. The first thing we'll do is create a test string. We'll declare a car array called string, and we'll store into this car array the string 4.5 semicolon. So the punctuation marks in this string are the semicolon and period characters. And what we want to do is remove these characters from the string. To help us do this, we'll include a couple libraries. We'll include the string.h library because this library includes a function called strlen, which is going to return the length of the string. We'll also include the ctype library because this library includes a function called isPunct, which is going to let us know if a character is a punctuation mark or not. Now remember that in C, characters in this car array are stored at an index. So for example, this four character here is stored at the index zero. This period character here is stored at the index one and so on for the rest of the characters in this string. And at the index four, we'll have the special null terminator character, which signifies the end of the string represented with backslash zero. Now to solve this problem of removing these punctuation marks from the string, what we'll do is create a copy of the string one character at a time within this same car array. What we'll do is use a loop with a counter variable I to examine each character in the string. And only if that character is not a punctuation mark will we include it in the new copy. So we'll create a loop with this counter variable I and I will initially be zero. And in that first loop iteration, we'll check this character here to see if it's a punctuation mark or not. Then in the next loop iteration, we'll increment I and we'll examine this character here and so on for the rest of the characters in the string. We'll continue the loop so long as I is less than the length of the string. So this string has a length of four because we have four characters, not including the null terminator character. So in the last loop iteration, I will be here at the index three. Now, as this is happening, we'll have a second variable J and J is going to keep track of the length of our new string that we're creating within the same car array. And J will initially be zero. Now in the loop, when we check to see with each loop iteration, if the character at the index I is a punctuation mark or not, only if the character is not a punctuation mark, are we going to take that character at the index i and store it at the index j, and only then will we increment j. So in this first loop iteration where we have four at the index i, this character is not a punctuation mark. So what we'll do is copy that character to the index j, which right now doesn't really have any effect. We'll just have four here now in our new string, but we'll also increment j. And as always, in the next loop iteration, i is going to be incremented, and I will now be here. Now here, we'll check to see if this character is a punctuation mark or not. This character is a punctuation mark, so we're not gonna copy it to our new string. Instead, we'll just have I increment as normal, and we'll check to see if this character is a punctuation mark or not. And here we have that five is not a punctuation mark. So this time, we do copy this character at the index I to the index J. And now we'll have five at the index J and this time we'll also increment j, so j will now be here. Then as always, i is incremented, and we'll check to see if this character is a punctuation mark or not. This character is a punctuation mark, so we're not going to copy it. And now that loop is done because we've gone through each character in the string. Now at this point, we actually have a copy of the string here without the punctuation marks. So to end the string, we'll just put the null terminator character at the index j. And now we have our string with all the punctuation marks removed. So let's implement this now. The first thing we'll do is call the string length function strlen and we'll pass it our string to find the length of the string. We'll store that into an int type variable called length. Then we'll declare our counter variable j and we'll initialize it to zero. Then we'll create our loop with our counter variable i initialized to zero. We'll continue the loop so long as i is less than the string length and we'll increment i by one with each loop iteration to go through each index of the string. Then in the loop body, we'll use the isPunct function of the ctype library to check if the character in the string at the index i is a punctuation mark. This function is going to return true if this character is a punctuation mark and false otherwise. And if this character is not a punctuation mark, then 
we're going to take this character and copy it into the string at the index j. And we'll also increment j by one with j++. Now, once this loop is done, we'll store at the index j the null terminator character to end the string. Now, to make sure this all works, we'll open the string after this is done. So we'll have printf and then percent %s inside the string to output a string, followed by backslash n for new line, and we'll output our string. So if we save compile and run the program, we do get 45, and so all the punctuation marks of our string have been removed. Now, one thing we could do is put this logic inside a function to call that function in different places in our program. So let's do that. We'll declare the function up here. Now the function will have a void return type because the function is not going to actually return a value. It's just going to modify the string it's passed as an argument. We'll call the function remove punctuation and we'll have the parameter car string here as an array. Now, when we pass our array to the function, this function is actually going to be able to modify the string inside of it. Why that is has to do with pointers and what happens when arrays are passed to a function in C, which is kind of outside the scope of this video. So what I will do though is post links in the video description to videos covering these topics. So we'll copy this and then supply our definition of the function down here. And what we'll do is actually just cut and paste our logic into this function body. So we'll take our logic here inside of main and we'll cut it and we'll paste it here inside the function body. And we've used the same parameter name here, string, as our variable name string here. So we don't actually need to modify anything. Up here, we'll then call remove punctuation and we'll pass it our string. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll again get 45 and we've removed all the punctuation marks in our string. So this is how we can remove all the punctuation marks in a string using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.